another Mikoin video and today I'm going to be doing the bent neck lady from the Haunting of Hill House. So the first thing I'm going to do is try to place the um, prosthetic quote unquote on my neck to see where I want it. Um, it's basically just like some, mo some molding wax that you use. So basically I'm just going to round it out. Make it look like it's a broken bone in your neck because that's what the costume is. You're supposed to look like you got hung by the neck and your bone broke out of your neck and now you have like a bone sticking out. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. Now I'm taking a Miron Cream Blend Stick in the shade 400 LG, which is their light gray shade, and I'm just applying it all over my face to give that like ghostly dead gray look in the face, I guess is what I'm going for. So, and now I'm just using a beauty blender and I'm blending it in. Um, I, for me personally, I feel like using a sponge to blend this around was much more easier than a brush. I feel like a brush would've took forever. Um, but also this is very, Cream Stick is very smooth, so it's easy to blend with anything, truth be told. So now I'm just going to do my eyes, and as you can see, this is very opaque, very pigmented, and it's like, wait, opaque, is that the right word? It's not opaque, like, thin, like, you can see through it. Maybe that's not the word I want to use. Uh <laughs> um, as you can see, it's very pigmented, and it is really full coverage, so a little goes a long way, but I just wanted to be safe and make sure I, that you saw no skin tone underneath the paint. Now with a smaller sponge that came with the makeup, uh, just a little like white wedge sponge, I'm just using the bottom and I'm blending around where I painted with the brush so you don't see like the streak marks. And now with some Ben Nye setting powder in the neutral, I think is what it was. I don't have it with me right now. But um, just some setting powder just to set everything in place, make sure everything doesn't smudge so I can layer more product on top of it. Now I'm taking the Miron Cream Blend Stick in 400B, which is their black shade, and I'm making like a little, I don't know, I'm making like a little thing on the lips. I'm going based off of a reference picture from like the behind the scenes of the TV show on Netflix. Um, so I'm just kind of like trying to match that, but also making my own. Um, so I just took some black, I guess to make the lips look a little like, I don't know, deadly. Like you don't have any blood in your system, so everything is just like, I don't know, dried out black veins I, I guess I, I'm not sure um and then I filled in my eyebrows because the eyebrows were pretty noticeable they weren't covered so I just filled them black now I'm just taking a thin brush and I'm just drawing the veins which you know I guess being hung by the neck your veins just happen to like pop out or from struggling from being hung by the neck well no when you break your neck when you get hung you die immediately well, maybe there was a struggle. I guess all the blood went to her face when she got hung. I don't know. But <laughs> but I'm just putting veins all over in places where they should belong to look like the blood has dried up in my body and this is what you see. Now I'm taking a fluffy brush and I'm taking that same black from Miron and I'm gonna do like, um, I guess like a sucking eye look. So I'm just gonna take the black and put it around my eye. Um, but also I'm gonna make it kind of soft. I don't want it to be too black. But, so kind of blend it out when you do it. Now with the product left over on the brush, I'm basically just adding dimension now. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of like smudging out the outline I did in like a very soft manner to kind of add dimension to the face. After adding some dimension, I'm now going to add like, I don't know, I was trying to do like a mark around the throat. So it looked like uh, the impression of the noose, which kind of was in the picture that I looked at 
and it was kind of noticeable in the show but being that I don't have like a very long neck like the actress or of course you know special effects to make my neck look long um I it really didn't show up well so this is kind of pointless but hey you live and you learn now I'm going to take a stipple brush, which is different, from, I mean, whoa, not a brush. I'm going to take a stipple sponge, which is different from a normal sponge, because it has like little, because it makes like little dots. So I'm going to dip it in the Meron Cream Stick Blend, oh, <laughs> I'm going to dip it in the Meron Cream Blend Stick Black Shade, and I'm just going to stipple it all over my face to add little dot features, as you can see here. And then I'm just going to do it all over the rest of my face to make it look, I don't know, more, I don't know, I, like I said, <laughs> I'm just going based off of the reference picture I saw for the character, and this is what I saw. So I, I guess the, the dots kind of make it look more, I don't know, decayed, maybe that's what they did, I'm not sure. <laughs> So now I'm just taking some of that black and I'm trying to like outline my collarbone because I wanted because I noticed that the bones were kind of like prominent in the um, neck area. So I tried to like add some shadowing to that to make it more prominent looking. And then after that, I went back in with my black in a very thin brush and re-outlined the veins that I had smudged to get that dimension. Basically just to re-add everything and add more details if I wanted. And once you finish all of that, this will be your final look. Add a wig, add some, I don't know, vintage old dress you found from like the thrift store, and then you have it. Your bent neck lady look. So, hopefully you all enjoyed this video. Make sure you thumbs up, comment below, and tell me, does this look creepy out? I've had a few people tell me this is kind of a creepy look. I did my job. <laughs> if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button because that's how you subscribe. You're a little late with that. I already said that. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button because that's how you subscribe. I will come a little bit more magical. And don't forget to hit that bell notification to be the first person to watch the video when it first comes out. So yeah, as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye! See you in your nightmares.